Hi guys, how's everybody doing today? I hope you're all doing well, staying safe, and washing your hands a lot. We hope you enjoyed our last video. We had so much fun making it, didn't we? It definitely was a good time. Yes, it was, and we did it all for you because we miss you guys. We want you guys to be here already. I can't believe it's been over three, we're probably on our fourth week of this whole pandemic with COVID-19, but just know that we continue to pray for you. We continue to stand on God's word that this too shall pass, and we will be back here before we know it. And we have some fun, fun stuff in store for you today, don't we, Coach Primer? Absolutely. It's going to be a good time today. It's going to be, uh, well, we can get into that a little bit later. But remember, first, middle, and last, we always give God the glory. So let's go ahead and open up in prayer, and uh, we'll go from there. Huh? How does that sound? All right. Uh, Lord, Father God, we give you all the praise and all the glory. Lord, we pray that you continue to have your hand upon this, uh, this gathering, us here, and everybody at home. Bless everybody at home. Keep them safe. Keep them protected. And we pray that everybody enjoy this. And I pray, Lord, Father God, that you have your way, and you continue to minister and have your abundant love inside every home, every heart, Father God, and every ear and eye watching. We give you all the praise and all the glory. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. I know you're probably sitting, laying on your bed, doing something that's probably not as productive as what you're going to do next. Okay? So I need you to get up. Get up. Come on, Coach Primer. Get the wiggles out. Get the wiggles out. We're going to do some worship, and I want each and every one of you to get up. Come on. Who's out there? Lizzie, you out there? Brielle, I see you. Come on, Xavier, Josh, Jordan, Aiden, Marco. I don't know. Who did I forget? Sorry, but I know you guys are out there. Get up and come worship with us. Let's do this.
worship, guys. Did you guys have fun? Did you get up, dance a little, move around a little? We still have to get Coach Primer to do it, but I'm so proud of these kids. Good job. High fives, high fives. They do Good such job. an Good awesome job. job doing worship, so I hope you're enjoying it, and I hope you're getting up and doing it with them. We have some fun, fun stuff in store for you guys, and as you can see, we have balloons, and they're holding cups with water, so Coach Primer is going to tell you a little bit more about what we're doing, okay? Okay, so this is going to be a fun game that we're going to play. It's uh, basically a water challenge game. In order to be successful in this game, you have to have wisdom, you have to have discipline, and you have to have strength, okay? And the idea of this game, I'm going to have Josiah come up, and he's going to show us, uh, give us a quick example. So some of the things that we're going to need in order to play this game is an empty pitcher, okay? We have a full pitcher of water. We, everybody's going to be holding two cups, and you start the game off with a slightly bit of water inside of the cups. So Coach Mom is going to ask a question to these kids. And Bible questions. Bible questions, correct. And if, she, and if Josiah gets the answer correct, he gets just a little bit of water. Just a tiny bit. And if he gets it wrong, then he gets a whole lot of water. Got to keep your arms straight ahead of you, and you cannot bend them. So you cannot bend them. You cannot put your arms to the side. We're not going sideways like Jonah is back there. We can't do that. We just got to hold them straight ahead in front of us. Okay? And the objective of the game is to see who is disciplined who is wise, and who has strength. The different balloons down here represent different level of category type questions. Coach Mom has the questions. She's going to give these kids uh, the questions, and they have a choice to answer. So if I were to say, Josiah, what animal did God create? An elephant. Elephant is correct. <laughs> wow, that's a solid answer. He gets a little bit, and we go from there. So I'll give you guys a chance at home to play with us. Hope you guys can grab the items that you got. If you don't have the balloons, that's perfectly fine. Um, just, you know, just come up with some questions or play along with us. So I'll give everybody a chance to go and fill up a pitcher of water. Uh, go grab an empty pitcher and go grab some cups to everybody that's playing. So with that, um, a way we can actually kind of, you know, fill in the time. Got a couple jokes. All right. Oh, it's. Okay, joke so we're going to have a good time with this, okay? So joke number one, here we go. You guys ready? What is a frog's favorite type of sandal to wear? Favorite type of sandal. Anybody? Drum roll. Open toad. <laughs> Open toad. Get it because of toads. <laughs> All right, joke number two. <laughs> joke number two. What happens if a frog parks illegally? And Lizzie, I know you know this one. We've already had these uh, joke topics. <laughs> if a frog parks illegally, it also gets towed. <laughs> right? Right? All right. That should be good right there. That, that, I saw you guys laughing back there. I saw you guys. It's, it's, they're funny They've jokes. They've heard these a couple times. <laughs> I wouldn't consider these dad jokes. Are they dad jokes? Yes. <laughs> All right, so hope you guys got everything ready. Let's play the game. Let's get started. Okay, so Juliana's going to go first, pick a balloon, and kick it to Dad. All right, balloon she is choosing is yellow. All right, Ooh. boom, here we okay, go. Okay, Juliana, your question is, turn Arm is up. your question is, who got swallowed by a fish or a whale? Jonah. Good job. Oh, good answer. Good answer. Jonah is a correct answer. Okay, she gets so you a get little a little bit of, bit of water. Okay, Mia's next. So remember, guys, if uh, your arm is choose to go bent, if it goes a little bit sideways, then you will also be receiving some water. So Mia, toss me a balloon. Blue. Blue. What is the first book in the Bible? Genesis. Good job. Genesis is correct. So again, I'm only pouring a little bit. I'm not pouring a lot because you got it right. Correct. Good okay. job. Okay. Now it's Josiah's turn. So here's a little fun part. Are you guys getting, is your arm getting tired yet? Yeah. Uh, yeah, getting a little bit tired. So here's a good fun part about this game. If our arm begins to get tired, I got the empty bucket. You can bring it to me and I will collect the water for you. Got it? So. Go ahead. Yellow. Okay. This might be a little bit of a tough one. How many books are in the Bible? 48. Oh. Close. 66. That's a, that's a mama's kind of close. I wasn't close at all. <laughs> so, so he gets a little bit here and 
a little bit there because oh. he didn't get it right. Okay, who's next? So remember, if it gets heavy, just come and tell me, and I'll take that water from you. Oh, it's JJ. JJ, you're next. JJ's next. All right, question over here. Who was the first man? Jesus. Oh, God made this man. Adam. Good job. Good answer, good answer. Hey, is anybody's arms getting tired? Does yes. anybody want to give up their water? Does anybody want to give up their water? I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Okay. Remember, the internet's Dylan. forever. Dylan. Dylan, where were we at? All okay. Right. Don't let it drop. What let day it did God create man? On the first day, on the second. <laughs> That's a good one. Christmas. Jesus was born. But no. <laughs> what day did God create man? On the sixth day. So Dylan gets water. Oh. Is anybody tired? Does anybody want to give up their water? Who wants to give up anybody their water? Anybody want to give up their water? Julie? Who wants to give up their water? You got it wrong. Anybody want to give up their water? <laughs> Hope you guys are getting these answers right at yes. home. Yes. <laughs> Who's next? Ethan, Ethan, kick a balloon. Orange is the color. How many days did God take to create the world? Seven. Was it seven? Seven. Mm. Was it seven? Seven minus one equals six. six. He rested on the seven. He rested. Maybe I that's know you guys you... got that at home. Anybody want to give okay. up their water? Again, I am here to take away a lot of this heaviness that you got. I'm here to take Jonah. a lot of the heaviness. Does anybody want to give up a... Uh... Oh. I'm here if anybody gets tired. It was orange. Okay. What was God sign to Noah that he would never destroy the earth again? A rainbow. Good, Good answer. Job. Good answer. Again, I am here. I still got an empty pitcher, right? I got no water in here, so I can take somebody's water if they get tired. Oh, you could. I'm here for it. Does anybody need any? I'm here if you guys get tired. Okay, we did one round. round Everybody's one. still good? How are you guys doing at home? Are you guys getting the answers? Are your arms getting tired yet? All right. Ethan. Oh, we got one. Ethan. We got one. Julie, look. Uh, <laughs> Julie, Julie, come here. Come here. How do you feel now? Good. <laughs> Were your arms tired? Yes. Yeah. Okay, but you're not out of the game. Now you're going to help mom. Now okay? you're helping me, okay? You can hold the questions. She Juliana is free is to now roam. Free to move, free to help, free to encourage her teammates. Yes. Anybody ready to give up? Anybody? Right. JJ? To give up your water. I'm here. JJ? Jonah? Ethan? Dylan? How what about you guys for? at home? Okay, I have the question. <laughs> They're even making noises. This, this bucket's light. It's what light. for? Okay, here's the question, guys. Be, have strength and be wise in things that we do, right, every single day. Because this bucket's light. <laughs> this, this, this picture Don't does not have elbow. anything. You got it wrong. Don't All right, Ethan. Elbows. Ethan? Balloon? <laughs> Hold them up. Hold them up. Dylan, I need... Hold them up, hold them up. You want to? You want? You want me to help you, Mia? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. Mia wants me to help her. Okay. I got you, Mia. Go ahead, both. How does that feel, Mia? How does it feel? Hold on. It feels better. Hold on. She says it feels better. All no right. more pain. But Mia, no more pain. You feel good now. You you're free to roam around and help out. You're free to move. You're free to jump, Mia. You're free to jump. You're free to dance. You're free to sing, right?
can hear them shaking and sweating. They can't keep their arms up any longer, but they do not want to give up the water to Coach Primer. All right, bonus round. All right, here we go. Everybody line up shoulder to shoulder, shoulder to shoulder. Coach Primer, girls. I think we have a lot of winners. All right, girls, listen. You guys are going to tell me, you guys, are the, you guys are the bonus round. If anybody drops their arms, if anybody. Straight arms, the straightest. Straight arms, if anybody. No, don't drop them. Nope, straight. Let's go. Oh, Josiah's done. Josiah, how do you feel now? My arms are staying up. I can't put my arms down. Jesse, now you put it down. Hey, yeah, elbows, elbows bent in over there. Go, put it down. Ethan, you keep Saya. You keep Saya. JJ, how do you feel? Oh, I still can't feel my arms. Again, guys, why do we put ourselves through this? I am here. This is light. This is light. Hold them up. If your arms bend, Dylan, you're out. Dylan's you're... arms bent like twice already. Right, he needs Dylan, to put that out. in. Do it. Do it. Do it. Hold him up. Hold him up. Hold him up. I mean, I got all the strength. I can help them out, but they choose. They're making their own choice to bring this upon themselves. Or is it the pure pressure that they don't want to give up to each other? What do you guys think it is? How are you guys doing at home? Are you guys struggling just as much as these? These guys are sweating. They are hurting. How do you guys feel down here now? Better. Dylan Bent. I was watching him. Have a seat right here on How the do steps. you feel, Dylan? Oh, man. And he's sweaty, too. So one of the things at the end of this, the winner between these two is going to be able to choose a person that they can throw a pie into the face. But it can't be me or Coach Mom. We're right. out of it. So that's why that's why they want to get this done. How are you guys feeling? Jonah, talk to me. How do you feel right now? Uh, it hurts. It hurts bad. Can I not talk about it? Are you ready to let somebody help you out? I want to let somebody help. I want to let somebody help, but I got to win. I got to win. <laughs> Under your own strength, you want to win? Yeah. <laughs> you know I can help you win, right? How? <laughs> are you going to trust me? <laughs> but if I give it to you, you said I'll lose. Are you going to trust me? How about Ethan? How do you feel? How do you feel, Ethan? It hurts. <laughs> so easy. So easy, so easy to I give up. So I think they both get to put the water in the bucket, and we have two winners. Okay. I give it up to them. Oh, my God. Two winners. Because they're not budging. Hold them up. Hold them up. How does it feel now that you did that? My arms still hurt. Jonah, how do you feel? How do you feel? Still hurts. Do you feel a lot lighter though? Do you feel like uh, like a weight's been lifted off your shoulders? No point intended, right? My shoulders hurt. Yeah. But does it feel lighter now? Do you feel better though? Yeah. All right. So again, so here's the thing, guys. This is uh, something that we're gonna actually go. This is wasn't just a game, right? So everything we do has a purpose. Has a purpose in Christ. Has a purpose in God. Let me take the the. The water. Let's take the, the heaviness, right? Get the paper. Let's take the heaviness, the burden, right, of things of this, um, of this world, whether it be trying to conform to what other people want us to be, right? When we try to do things in our own strength, we end up getting pretty tired. Yes. When we try to do things that the way the world wants us to do them, it hurts, it's such a stress on our shoulders. It's such a burden upon our, our, our lives. We don't have to do that. So the whole purpose of this, guys, in our own strength, 
we're never going to be able to get it. We're always going to be tired. We're always going to be beat down. We're always going to fall short. But you know what? When you have the one true king, when you have God in your corner, in your side, he will always, always be there to lift that burden from you. And he this will. is the example here. This is what everybody here was carrying. You guys all had water in your cups. And as we were asking you questions, you, we were pouring water into your cup. And we can say that as we were pouring water, maybe that could have been, Coach Primer, what do you think? Like the example would be you're at school and you're not doing good at school and your neighbor is doing good at school. So you take their test and you copy it. And that is a burden that you're carrying now because your cup is getting fuller because instead of studying and doing your homework and trying it on your own, you took the easy way and you copied somebody. And that's what you have to carry now. And that's what Coach Primer is trying to explain, that you don't have to carry that because you can ask for forgiveness and God will take that burden from you because you're making a choice to do better in life. And next time you're going to study and you're going to do good on your test on your own. So every morning when we get up, we always wake up with a, with a little bit of water in our cup. Every single morning. Again, doesn't matter if you're seven years old. <laughs> doesn't matter if you're nine years old. Doesn't matter if you're 12 years old. I was not, I'm not going to say your, your age. Don't or you're 38 age, years old, 37 years old. It he doesn't, doesn't even matter. know how old he is. <laughs> Every morning, we're going to wake up with that little bit of water in our cup. Every decision that we make throughout the day, a little bit of water gets put in there. But again, because of the grace of God, because of his goodness, because of his love, we choose not to carry that around. Right. Not because of a winning whatever. Not because the world says that I have to dress like this. I have to look like this. I have to act like this. Because I get a bad report card because I get frustrated because I didn't start that game because I didn't make the team all that stuff brush it off your shoulders God wants to take all of that from us yes. where all we can do is be free to help mm -hmm. to sing to dance yes. to praise God understand that guys every morning we make that choice to give everything to God so examples given right now Let's back them up with the word. It's not our thoughts. It's not our, you know, ideas. But it just comes directly from the Bible. Right. So if you can actually bring out your Bible on your phone or refer back to this video, um, take a look at this scripture. It says it all right here. Right. We want to uh, wrap this, this game or lesson up with you guys. We want you to turn to Matthew 11, 28 to 30. And it says, come to me. All you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. God loves us. He loves every single one of you at home. He loves every single one of you here. He loves us, and he will always be here for us, but he's a gentleman, he's not going to force himself upon us. He's going to wait for us to say, hey, God, take this from me. I'm tired. I can't hold it no more. Give that to God. Again, that's how we start setting the foundation for what the great things that God is going to put in your lives. So as soon as all of you guys gave up that water, the burden, the heaviness, right, did you feel an instant sense of relief like, oh, so good. Did you guys feel like that? Yeah, no. <laughs> You weren't ready to give it up, Dylan? No. Dylan wasn't ready. Dylan wasn't ready. I love that competitive attitude. I love it. But again, in God's strength, Dylan, in God's strength, again, 7 years old to 11 years old, God will work. Or 37 years old. You know, God's going to work. Or 100 years old. That's right. Amen. God's perfect timing. So all of this to say, these guys did great, but there was uh, one more twist to this. And we're going to get this done right now, okay? So right now, what we're going to do, these guys have a choice to throw or to place a pie in somebody's face. So that's the luxuries of choosing. So you two, and it can't be me or mom. All right? So you two will choose a person 
I think it should be Coach Primer. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Yes. Not gonna be me. You guys get to choose one of these guys to get to put a pie in their face. You guys, you guys want to do it to each other? Yeah. All right, there you go. So Jonah's gonna throw a pie in Ethan's face. That's the luxuries of victory, guys. So <laughs> the spoils to the victor. All right. So uh, stay tuned. We're going to get it ready, and Ethan's going to catch a pie in the face. And before we go, though, we just want to say we love you guys. We have been having so much fun doing this with the kids, and we wish you guys were all here with us, and you will be soon. So let's just keep praying that this will be over soon so that we could all come together. Right, Coach Primer? Absolutely. You want to wrap us up in a quick prayer before we go? After the – I want to see the pie in the face. You guys got to stay tuned for that. All right? All right. Let's stay tuned. Stay tuned. All right, guys, are you guys ready to see some pie in the face? Yeah, yeah I am too. Are you ready, Ethan? No. <laughs> he sounds ready. You guys ready? Let's count. Count with me. Ready? Five, four, three, two. Oh, what happened, Coach Primer? What's going hold on? on? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get that moved aside. Let me get that moved away. Ethan, you did great at the game today. You know what? Let me go ahead and take this burden from you. All right, I'll take that pie in the face. Are you sure? Yes. And again, let this be an example of all the sacrifices that God's done for us. He resurrected last week for our sins and our burdens, right? So this, is, this can be another example of how good God is. Anytime we get into a situation, God is always there ready to take the punishment for us, for you, for me, for all of you guys, okay? So this is for you, Ethan, and all of you guys as well. It's gonna hurt. You ready, Coach Farmer? Put his goggles on. How exciting, guys. I didn't know he was gonna do this. Can you believe it? All right, you guys ready to count with me? Okay, let's do this. Five, four, three, two, one, pie in the face! <laughs> Good job! <laughs> Coach Primer got pied in the face, yay! I can't wait to see you guys so I can do this to you guys. All right, give a hand clap to Coach Primer for doing this. Okay, guys, let's sit down. As we wrap up, I just want to close out in a prayer. I want you guys at home to pray with us. Stay safe during the week. We hope to do another video coming up, and we hope that you come and watch. I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you for watching. Share this with your family and your friends so they can have some fun and listen to the word all at the same time. We love you guys. We want you to stay safe, stay healthy, and remember, guys, wash your Yes. All right. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we just thank you for today, Lord. Thank you for allowing us to come together with all these children here today and those who are at home. We thank you for each and every one of them. We ask you to bless them. Have your, have your arms just wrap around them, Lord. We want to pray protection over them, Lord. And we just ask that you continue to be with each and every one in their homes as they stay safe and they stay healthy, Lord. We pray this in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. And everybody said? Amen. All right, guys. It was fun. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Say bye, guys. Well,